Hello children. In this session we are going to be taking a look at the months of the year. But before we start, can anyone tell me how many months there are? Yes, very well done, there are 12. Let's see them together. Read them with me. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Right, so which is the first month of the year? January. Perfect. And the last month would be December down here at the bottom. Now, here we are seeing an empty calendar. Really and truly, there's nothing in it. It's just a bunch of empty boxes. So, can anyone tell me what a calendar is? What would a calendar show us? Yes, the calendar would show us a whole year or even a month on its own. So, over here we're seeing the months as we said them before. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Now, children, as you can see, this calendar is only showing us the months. Sometimes our calendar also shows us the weeks and the days and the dates. If you have a calendar at home, what do you use it for? For example, I like to fill in the birthdays of my friends and my family. I like to take note of holidays or school days or special appointments that I have or special feasts coming up like Christmas, for example, or a party that I might have. If you have a calendar at home, you can do the same, maybe either by writing in or drawing pictures, depending on the month that the event would be happening in. Now, our friend here is asking us a question. He is telling us all days of the week and with the letter Y. Is this true or false? Let us remember a bit which are the days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Do they all end with the letter Y? Yes, it's true. Because all the days of the week end with the letter Y. And why is that? Because they all have the word day in the end. Mm, I see. Now, now he is asking us to think of the months of the year that we have just seen, right? Do they all end with the letter Y as well? Remember. We have January, February, March, April, May. Mm, so some have a Y at the end and others do not. What do you think? False. Right. Not all the months of the year end with the letter Y. And why is that? Because only January, February, May and July have a Y at the end. Now, children. Let us think a little bit back to the days of the week. There we have them all. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Now, in a way, our week is also split up like a little, little calendar, if I can say so. Because there are days when we go to school and there are others when we stay at home. Which are the days when we attend school? Yes, from Monday till Friday, we are at school. So, Saturday and Sunday are the days that are part of the weekend and we won't be in school. If you have a calendar at home, children, you can draw or mark down any special events or any special days that you would like to remember coming up. I'm sure you really enjoy doing this 
and it will help you plan better your days and your weeks ahead. Bye.